today. I'm Warwick Schiller. Today I want to talk to you about habits that horses have, particularly bad habits. And lately here I've noticed that my, when I come here in the morning to grain these horses here, they have started banging at the doors a bit, you know. And you think about horses banging at the door when you go to give them their grain, you know, they, they hear you pouring the grain or whatever it is into the, into the buckets. Um, they start banging on the door. Horses are not born knowing that that sound means they're going to get grain. So they don't, you know, they're not born knowing how to be impatient about that. That's something we teach them. And we kind of teach it by the same way you teach anything, a series of things. You know, like say teaching a horse to steer. You pick up on the left rein. He doesn't know what to do. He leans to the right. He doesn't steer. He goes straight. He goes left. You let go. And after a while, he'll realize that when you pick up on that left rein, if he goes left, he'll get the reward. He gets release of, of that pressure. You know, he may have tried to go to the right, that didn't work. He went faster, that didn't work. He went left, that works. So now he knows when you steer to the left, he goes to the left, he gets the reward, which is the release of pressure. In this case, these horses start getting impatient. They know you're gonna bring the food and they get impatient, they start banging. And if you bring the food then, pretty soon they think if they bang on the door, you're gonna bring the food. So. Um, I noticed here recently, you know, I come here to grain these horses and I started putting the grain in the buckets and I can hear some banging and clanging out there. And so I thought, well, I need to put a stop to that. So what I've been doing is I'll come here and I'll get all the grains ready, you know, go in there and get them all in their buckets. And then I will just bring them out and sit them in front of their stalls. I won't necessarily give them to them yet. Okay. I don't want them to think that that sound is followed, you know, a few minutes later by the grain coming. So I'll go and do that and then I'll tell you how I fix the rest of it. So once they've put their grain out there, all I do is leave it there. If, you know, once they put them out there, if there's no ruckus or whatever, I'll start giving them the grain one by one. If a horse starts banging at the thing, I'll bypass him, won't give him his grain, okay? Um, if I walked up and set the bucket down there, they started banging, I wouldn't give them their grain. And then what I'll do is I'll, you know, let's say a few of them are banging on their doors right now, I just leave the grain buckets there. Then I've got other things to do. You know, I might get a horse out and cut it up. You know, once that horse is saddled up, if I don't hear any noise from down there, then I'll go ahead and grain them, okay? Um, just mix it up like that. If you have to, another thing you can do at home is if you say, give your horse some sort of uh, a grain mix at night or whatever, in the morning, mix it up so they don't hear the bang, clang, clang. Maybe if they're in a, a stall or a, you know, a pasture or whatever, mix it up and put it outside the yard in the morning. And don't give it to them. Make them think that that bucket coming over to them doesn't have anything to do with the food. Okay, or that noise, whatever it is. Let's say one right here, I went to feed it and it started banging at the door. Well, that might be the first one I ride. I might have them think that if they bang at the door, I take you out and ride you. You get to go so, do some work. Just things like that, just mix it up. There's one down here, I'll show you in a second, and she's a, um, an older mare. And when I got her, she kind of, when you open the door, she kind of pin her ears at you and you know, kind of act like she wanted you to go away. So what I would do is go away. If I went in there with the, the grain and she kind of pinned her ears and kind of went over to the feeder like, okay, I'm gonna go over here and you're gonna go away, I would, I'd go away. But I'd take the grain with me, okay? You do that a few times and pretty soon you come along and her ears would come up and like, are you gonna put that grain in there? Can I have some, you know? Normally if a horse pins its ears at me, I won't go away from it because it's threatening you, you know, to go away. But or what, how they get into that habit is, you take the grain and you give it to them. Day in, day out, you do it. And after a while, as you start coming in, they start pinning their ears like, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. If you dump the grain right then and leave, then you're starting to teach them to do that. Anyway, we'll go in here and I'll show you what she looks like. So this mare here is the one that makes faces at me. So I've got the grain here. I'm gonna come in here and see her ears are up right there. Now right there, oh, she went to pin her ears, she put her ears up. So I'm just gonna head over here See her ears are still up right there? Good, I'm gonna go over here. See her ears are still up? 
put the grain in there, make her wait for me. If she comes too close, I'll make her back off a little bit. Now she's waiting. Now I'll come back at them. So, you know, it wasn't that long ago that that mare was pretty pinny and she was one of the ones who would pour at the door. She was actually the one that got me thinking, hey, I need you to start sucking. Right now, all these grain buckets are sitting out here. None of these horses are banging at the doors because banging at the doors doesn't make them get it. You know, sometimes these buckets might sit out here for two hours in the morning. I'll go and ride a horse, come back, give one its grain. If another one starts banging at the door, it doesn't get its grain. They eventually get their grain sometime. I just don't do it when they're thinking they're going to get it. So just mix it up like that. Same thing with your feeding, you know, if you, if you, you know, if you don't do this thing at the same time every day, you know, sometimes do it early, sometimes do it later, just mix it up and that will prevent your horse from having those sort of problems. I hope that helps. See you guys later.